Imagine holding a piece of air hundreds of millions of years old. Air that predates dinosaurs, forests, even complex life itself. This isn't science fiction, it's real. And it's stored inside a tiny crystal of salt. For decades, scientists have been trying to answer a deceptively simple question. How much oxygen was in the Earth's atmosphere hundreds of millions of years ago? The issue is we've never really had any direct evidence. Most of the direct atmospheric measurements we can get go to about 800,000 years from ice cores. Anything older, we rely on proxies or indirect data. Usually chemical hints in rocks and sediments that suggest don't confirm the actual atmospheric composition. In comes the salt crystal. A team of geologists from across the world came together to study this small minute crystal that was found in Australia. Inside this halite, also rock salt, were tiny air bubbles trapped for over 800 million years. Drill cores of this ancient sample suggest that it was deposited in a lagoon environment over 815 million years ago. This puts us back to the Tonian period, before snowball earth, before complex life itself. In a lab, the halite was crushed in a vacuum to release all the air trapped in those air bubbles, and then they use a mass spectrometer to measure the results. The results were fascinating. They measured a 10.9% reading, half of what we have today, but way more than we previously thought. And this number has rather large implications. It means Earth's atmosphere became oxygen rich at least 100 to 200 million years earlier than previously thought. This shift is called the Neoproterozoic Oxidation Event, and it may have set the stage for life as we know it. Some scientists questioned these results, naturally so, and did a different technique and got it down to 6.9% oxygen. Either way, it's still way more than we previously thought. This groundbreaking research in using halite crystals to understand atmospheric composition could mean we could use this beyond Earth and even on places like Mars. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.